Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys how you can change the background picture on your Buzz TV 5 beta. It doesn't matter if you are really on 4900 official 5 or beta. This is how easy it is for you to change your background picture. It doesn't matter if you have your own picture or you want to download. So in this case, in this video, we will show you how you can download one and install it. I do not want you to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon, select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. All right, so number one, we have to go to our app store. Now make sure you connect it to the internet. In this case, we are connected. We will go to the settings. Once you go to settings, you can see that Wi-Fi is connected. Now it doesn't matter if you're LAN connected on your box. In this case, I am using VidStick, so we're going to use this. Now, first thing is go into App Store. Launch it and make sure that you are up to date. Now, if you're not just updated, that's all. And then once you are in, here you go, press OK. This is my first time using it, so I am sure we are up to date. Once it comes up, you have to go to the top. You have a little search, click on it. Yes, you will get this pop up that you have a air mouse or you have a audio recording. I'm just going to say allow for the meantime to I can bypass that and then go on the top and go to the right and select search. Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds for it to come up. And in this case, we will go into look for something called explore. And as soon as you type a few letters, you're going to see the first one comes up on the list is explore the way that it's written. And your first one that comes up, we will select it. And then click on install. Now this app is phenomenal. It looks kind of like the FTP clients that you use on your computer. That's why it makes it very easy. And once you see this menu, click on install and let it install. So once we get to it, we will explain why we need this. There are different ones out there, but this is we're going to make it only compatible with Buzz TV. So this way makes it simple for your files to transfer back and forth. Once it's done, don't click open, just click done and then press home. Now let's go through and download our pictures. So for that, we have to use Windows. So here you go, I'm using this browser. And then on the search bar, you can see I went to google.com. And over here, you have a little part says images. I will select that. And on the search bar, I will type landscape wallpapers. Now, as soon as you type it and go next, you get these little pictures. Now, these are pictures. What I really like is one of the paintings. So something like this, or in this case, I'm looking for one that is bluish color. This one, let's select this one. And then if you scroll down, you will get more really beautiful pictures and different colors inside of it. So I will select just one or two of them. So in this case, I will go back up and here you go. Once you go to it, it tells you what size it is. So this is really big and you can right click on it and then say save as you can select your USB and you can name it wallpaper one and save and that's it. So one is done. Now let's get another one. Now another one, I want to select something a little bit better, which more colors. So I will select this one, right click on it and go to save as. And now we will name it something very little different, something like wallpaper two. Now, sometimes it doesn't save it as that page or as that picture name. And now I already selected one as a test before. That's why maybe it's showing more. But here you go. You can see there's different one called sunset and you can go next and download as many as you want. And you can see the size is really big on this one, too. So we will select save and we can name it wallpaper three. So this way we have at least three or four in our USB. Once that is done, take the USB out and then connect it to your vid stick in this case, or if you have, if you have the box, go ahead, connect it on a site. Now comes the best part. Let's go through and you can make a shortcut or you can go down over here, keep scrolling to the right and you will find that file explore. Mine is right over here, but let's just make a little shortcut on the first. So that way we have it access to it very easily, which is right over here. Say yes, go back, 
and now we have it right over here so very easy now when you have live TV and everything it will show on the bottom but let's go through and click on explore now this is a very very first time that we launch so you will get this little pop-up say allow all right so once you're here turn on your mice in this case and we will go to internal now remember to process this is really good to have an air mouse remote or a computer mouse connected to the stick to process part it makes it very easy we will select picture and then you can go to your usb in this case i have a micro sd slot select it to this and here's the files that i just got so i will put a little check mark on each of these four pictures that I got and then making sure that this arrow is towards the internal storage I did select the pictures and then you have a little button right over here says copy you have to select it you will get this pop-up and you have to say OK and it just got copied as simple as that now we will press home once you're here go on the top under settings don't click on it scroll down go to background image we have to give him allowance and here you go now as soon as you copy it it reads it twice so that's the only thing but you should be able to see the pictures i do not know why i cannot see the pictures i will just go back into it we will select background image and here you go now it shows it properly so now we can select one wait a couple of seconds and it changed you can see that how nice and how easy it is to change the picture in the background and you can click on it again and let's go and select the second one and now I should get some pictures maybe because this is beta it doesn't show but this is how easy it is to select the second picture and here you go this is the second one that I have downloaded I really like that that is so different from the other ones now we will select the third one this is how it looks the third one now you can put an actual picture there but i just like that little drawings to make it simple and very easy to process now one thing that i noticed is here you go this is one of my favorite that it shows a few things in the background it's kind of mixed up all together and this is how it looks when you are trying to play with it so if i have to select settings it doesn't show but if i have to go back into my pictures and i want to select that first one that we loaded and here you go kind of a little reddish and all it looks beautiful so we can go through and play with our bus tv5 ui and you can go back into it and you can change it to something a little bit blue i think the third one was one of the ones that was a little bit blue there you go and now you will be able to play with it and it doesn't really clash with anything when you are trying to play. So in the meantime, I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, the subscribe button on the top comment and the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xctext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.